welcome dear students to this program dear students today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics books about circle from chapter 10 and here it is part 7 in this part we will discuss about angle subtended by an arc of a circle on the same segment so for this what do we need what we have learned previously let's see the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle we have discussed it uh, discussed it earlier let's see what is the re relation we have already discussed that is angle in the same segment of a circle are equal previously we have proved it today we will discuss the converse of this theorem so what is converse of this theorem theorem 10.10 .10 states if a line segment joining two points subtends equal angle at two other points lying on the same side of the line containing the line segment the four points lie on a circle that is they are concyclic so let's see what is the figure for this statement here a b is the line segment and c and d are on the same part same side of the line segment and a b subtend angles a c d and a d b at these two points so we can write that line segment a b subtend angle a c d and angle a d b at two points c and d on the same side of a b respectively such that and what is the condition the condition is that angle a c b is equal to angle a d b so here if this is the condition we have to show that these four points a b d and c all lie on the circle one circle so we can write to prove part that is points a b c and d lie on the same circle so let's see here how to prove this so here here is a line segment a b and c and d are two points where a b subtend angles a c b a c b and a d b respectively which are equal if these are two we have four points here and all the four points are not on the same line so we can say that a b c are three points which are non-linear so proof is like this let a b c are concyclic as they are non-linear that means we can have a circle that passes through this a b and c then what about d d may lie outside the circle inside the circle or on the circle so we can consider three cases and from these three cases we will conclude where it will lie so let d lie outside the circle so if d lie outside the circle then see what happens d 
D lies outside the circle and here if we join this here B, this will intersect this circle, AD will intersect the circle say at E. So we can write then draw AD and let it intersect the circle at E then join say BE. If we join BE, then you see this angle AEB and ACB are on the same segment. So this implies angle ACB is equal to angle AEB as they are on the same segment. Now let us see, we know that this angle ADB is equal to angle ACB. So we can write, but angle ACB is equal to angle ADB. This implies angle ACB is equal to AB equal to ADB. So we can write angle ADB is equal to angle AEB. But here we have a triangle BED where BEL is the exterior angle, so which is greater than D. So we can write in triangle, let it be 1, in triangle BED exterior angle BEA is greater than interior opposite angle A D B. So you see A D B is equal to A B. Here it is A B is greater than A D B. So one and two contradict each other. So we can write one and two contradict each other. So by taking a statement that D lie on the outside, uh, lie outside the circle, we get a controversial statement that is the statement 1 and 2. So from this we can say that D does not lie in the exterior of the circle. So this is we proved for exterior of the circle. So D cannot lie in the exterior of the circle. Now let us see the second condition that let D lie inside the circle. Let D lies in the interior of the circle. If this is the case, let us see what will be our figure. The figure is like this. Say this is D and 
this is the case. So, let AD extended so that it intersect the circle at E. Then join B E. Now as A E B and A C B are angles subtended in the same segment. So we can write angle A C B is equal to angle A E B. We can write angle angle subtended on the same segment. Now you see it is given that ACB is equal to angle ADB. This is given. So from these two we conclude that angle AEB is equal to angle ADB. We can say this is third one and in triangle A uh, in triangle BDE extended angle ADB is greater than interior opposite angle DE, DEB or we can say AEB. This is 4. Now again statement 3 and 4 contradict each other. So, 3 and 4 contradict each other. What we have taken? We have taken that D lies in the interior of the circle. And, and what did we get? We get that these two are controversial statements. So, this implies D does not lie in the interior of the circle. Now, D cannot be inside the circle or in the interior of the circle or and it also cannot be in the exterior of the circle. Then where it will be? It will be so, D lies on the circle. Previously, we have shown that the points A, B and C lie on the circle. Now, we prove that D also lies on the circle. That means, A, B, C, D lies on the same circle. So, this is the proof of the converse of the, uh, the theorem that the, the um, angles subtended in the same segment are equal. Now, let us have some problem based on this. The problem is like this. In this figure, A, B, C and D are four points on a circle. AC and BD intersect at a point E such that angle BEC is equal to 130 degree and angle ECD is equal to 20 degree. Then find angle BAC. You see, in this figure, BAC, BAC and BDC. 
this is the figure and the point of intersection of AC and BD is E. The angle BEC is 130 degree and angle DCE is equal to 20 degree. Now, see in triangle DEC exterior angle which is exterior angle, angle BEC is equal to angle E D C E and angle E D C sum of angles D C E and E D C. This shows angle B C is 130 degree is equal to D C E is 20 degree plus angle E D C and this shows angle E D C is equal to 130 degree minus 20 degree. So, we can write that E D C is same as angle E D C is equal to 110 degree. Now, we know that angle B A C is equal to angle B D C and what is B D C? B D C is same as angle E D C. This is equal to 110 degree. This is why because the these are angle subtended in the same segment. Thus, we get the value of angle BAC. Let us see another problem. The figure is like this. In this figure, PA and PB intersect the circle at CA and DB. Angle COD is 40 degree and angle AOB is 100 degree. Find angle APB. You see, in this figure, here is a circle. A, this is here, this point is P, A, B and that intersects the circle at C and D and AOB is equal to 100 degree and COD is equal to 40 degree. Now, how to solve this? So, given part is P A and P B intersect the circle at C and D respectively. O is the center of the circle. Angle AOB is equal to 100 degree and angle COD equal to 40 degree. Now, let me draw the line AD. So, we can have a construction that 
ड्रॉ डी ए नाउ सी इन ट्रायंगल पी ए डी दिस वन दैट इज एंगल ए डी बी इज द एक्सटीरियर एंगल एंड वन ऑफ द इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल इज पी ए डी इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस पी ए डी फ्रॉम ए डी बी देन वील गेट दिस एंगल पी ना वाट आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस एंगल ए डी बी एंड सी ए डी here is the solution angle aob is equal to twice the angle adb why because angle subtended subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the arc on rest part of the circle so this is twice of angle adb so aob is equal to 2 adb so this implies what is aob aob is 100 degree so 2 adb is 100 degree and that shows that angle adb is equal to 50 degree similarly we can say this angle cad is the angle subtended by arc cd in the rest part of the circle where cud is the angle subtended at the center by arc cd so we can say that similarly angle cod is equal to twice angle cad this implies cod is 40 degree so we can say 40 degree is equal to 2 cad that gives cad is equal to 20 degree now in triangle apd the exterior angle exterior angle adb is equal to angle apd plus angle pad so angle adb is equal to as we know it is 50 degree is equal to angle apd is same as angle apb so we can write in place of pd AP, apd we can write apb and in place of pad pad we can write the value of cad that is 20 degree from this we get 50 degree minus 20 degree is equal to angle apb or angle apb is equal to 30 degree so thus we can find the value of angle apb by using the previous theorem 
let's see another question this question says that O is the center of the circumcircle of a triangle ABC lies inside it. Prove that BAC angle plus OBC angle is equal to 90 degree. You see, this is the circle and a triangle is inscribed in it. ABC is the triangle, O is the center, OB and OC are joined. To prove, we have to prove that BAC plus angle OBC, sum of these two angles is 90 degree. Now you see, as you know that in triangle OBC, OB is equal to OC, that is ready of the same circle. So, this implies as this is an isosceles triangle, so we can write angle OBC is equal to angle OCB. Now, in triangle OBC, we have angle BOC plus angle OBC plus angle OCB is equal to 180 degree by angle sum property of triangle. You see, what is BOC? BOC is the angle subtended by an arc BC. So, this is double the angle subtended on the rest part of the circle that is BAC. So, in place of BOC, we can write twice BAC. So, in place of BOC, we can write 2 BA C plus and OBC, OCB are equal. So, in place of OBC, we can write OBC and in place of OCB also we can write OBC. So, sum of these two, we can write 2 angle OBC and this is equal to 180 degree. By taking 2 common from left side, we have BAC angle plus OBC angle in bracket is equal to 180 degree. That gives angle BAC plus angle OBC is equal to 180 degree by 2 that is 90 degree. Thus we proved that BAC and angle BOBC their sum is 90 degree. Let us have another question. The question says that O is the center of the circle of a the circumcircle of the triangle ABC lies outside it. Prove that BAC minus OBC angle is equal to 90 degree. So, here the difference of angle BAC and angle OBC is 90 degree. So, here the triangle is like this, O is outside it and B O C. Here B O C. Now, you see here also we will apply the same thing. Here it is what to prove to prove angle BAC minus angle OBC is equal to 90 degree. Here what to do? We have to do same thing that is 
in triangle OBC OB is equal to OC as ready of same circle this implies angle OBC plus and angle OBC is equal to angle OCB now in triangle OBC we have in triangle OBC we have angle BOC plus angle OBC plus angle OCB is equal to 180 degree. Now see what is BOC here? BOC and BAC. What is the relationship between these two? We have angle twice angle BAC is equal to this reflex angle BOC reflex angle BOC that means 360 degree minus angle BOC so this gives that angle BOC is same as 360 degree minus 2 BAC now we can substitute this value of BOC here so hence we can write that 360 degree minus 2 angle BSC plus in place of OBC plus OCB we can write 2 OBC is equal to 180 degree. Now take this part 180 degree to left side and the angle part to the right side we have 360 degree minus 180 degree is equal to 2 angle BAC minus 2 angle OBC. So here we can say the left side gives 180 degree is equal to taking 2 common BAC angle minus OB C angle. So, from this we get this statement that this implies angle BAC minus angle OBC is equal to 180 degree by 2 that is 90 degree. So, dear students, Today I learned about the angles subtended in the same segment and with this we proved some uh, problems. Hope you understand. Have a good day. Thank you.